Hey guys, it's Nigel here from Aquarium Central and it is Friday, so it is Live Fish Unboxing Friday. Now next week is Easter and we will not be doing a Live Fish Unboxing on Easter. We will be enjoying the day off with the rest of our family like the rest of us should. Anyway, let's get into today and uh, straight up, first out of the box, we have some Emperor, no not Emperor, sorry, Congo Tetras. Now, if you look down on our Facebook page, you will see some amazing Congo Tetras and what they look like when they have natural light shining on them. Now, these guys are in the bag, so they're not showing any color, but that video on Facebook will show you how they look when they're settled in your aquarium. And once they start to mature, they're absolutely amazing Tetras. I know that video got a lot of attention, so have a look at it. We also got some more albino cherry barbs in. Now, sometimes these are referred to as the firecracker barb. If you have a look at the bag there, you can see why they call it the firecracker. These have just come out of a white box, but you can see how red they're showing. Definitely a favorite above the normal cherry barbs is your albino cherry barbs. All right, another one here. Now, it does look like a normal neon tetra in the bag, but these are not your normal neon tetras. These are your glow light neon tetras. Now, the glow light neon tetra, uh, basically, or the, or the head headlight or uh, diamond is another name they call them literally looks like a neon tetra with two spotlights coming out the top of its eyes very hard to see in the bag but once they get them in the aquarium they're actually really really cool they got these little looks like lamps coming out the front all right one we haven't had in store here for a while but we've got plenty of them this week and this is your chain loach your little sid monkey loach this is a miniature loach it's a very dwarf species it does not get very big at all in fact this is almost full grown uh, your little chain loaches and they're very very active very cool fish haven't had them in store for a few weeks so it's good that we've got them back all right another really cool fish and this is your rocket fish or your rocket killie the reason why they call it the rocket killie or clown killie is because it has literally a rocket jet tail it looks like a flame coming out of the tail back and they're a clown they're black and yellow stripe they're really cool really easy to breed nano species do really really well in those small aquariums all right one that you do a larger aquarium for is your pink kissing grommy really good size come in today these are easy seven centimeter kissing grommies now uh, these guys now they do pucker up and kiss each other that's why they're called the kissing grommy now actually it isn't a sign of love and affection it's actually a sign of aggression it's how they fight, show off their aggression to one another is they'll pucker up and kiss. All right, they're not going to do it in the bag, but they're really cool. Got these really big lips that just fold back and pucker and kiss up. All right, now, got a lot of guppies coming today, which is great because we sell so many guppies here. And I did manage, I did get some last week and they sold really well. And I did manage to get a few more of them. Your sky blue guppies. Now, there is a male and female. So these you can buy on our website as either a male or a female, or you can buy the pairs. And these females, look at them. They're big, fat, chunky females. They're full of row, or should say full of babies, because these are a live bearer. Really, look at the tail on some of these. Look at that. And that's a female. Massive tail. Beautiful sky coloration. And here's the males. Much smaller compared to the female. But these are really, really good quality. These are the Japanese sky blue guppies, male and female pairs. All right, what else have we got here? All right, we do, looks like we've got some red guppy females. We've got an excellent shipment of males in through the week, the red flamingo, or some people call them the blonde red guppy. These are the females. We did get male and females of those. And wrong time of the year, we're in Easter, but here is your Santa Claus uh, guppy. So the Santa Claus, you know, it's got that traditional Christmas color, like Santa, black, red, and white. This is your Santa Claus guppy. Only got the male of the Santa Claus at the moment. All right, another one, this one here is really cool. This is your like your flame guppy, it's got a flame tail. Now, these guys are platinum flame tails. They're really cool compared to the regular ones. We are just selling them as regular flame tails at the moment. They've got that twin little flame tail on the back. But if you look closely, they've got a white platinum body up the front. They look way better than the other ones. So really cool. We are just selling them as flames. So jump on the website, grab them. This is the last of them. 
and you can pick up some of these platinum flame tails. They're really, really cool. Really cool guppies. All right. All right, another one. This is your red tail platinum Dumbo guppy. You can see why they call it Dumbo. See those black flapping ears there on the side? These are really cool out in the natural sunlight and in the pond. They'll develop much. These are very young and small fish. They'll get much bigger development and a blue hue to them. They're a really cool fish. We do have those in male and female at the moment. All right, and this is another Dumbo, but this is your red mosaic Dumbo. Again, we have male and female. All right, red cap tuxedo. I actually thought I saw a heap of females there, but no, these are all, I think there might be some females in the bag. They're supposed to be all males, and we'll wait until we get them settled in. There's definitely uh, some in there that are quite questionable uh, to be female. Um, these are your red cap tuxedo, so they get a red crown on the top, not a nose, crown on the top, black tuxedo body with a red tail, really cool guppy. All right, another Dumbo, this is, we just call these a mixed mosaics. Uh, they're sort of like a, a blue, a green, they're not your red tail, uh, but they're pretty cool. They're a dragon uh, Dumbo mosaic, so cool looking male. I think I've got females for those as well today. All right, not a guppy, see if we can find some more guppies. Here we go. So this is your koi guppy, the female variant. So we did get the male and female of this one in today. All right, so koi has a red nose on it, or majority of them have red nose. Some of the kois don't get a red nose, but the majority of them do have a red nose and a red tail. Uh, it's the golden koi, so the really pale white, sort of yellow in the body. Here's the males to it, as you can see. Really red noses on some of these, nice red tails, and that golden white sort of platinum body. So we have those in both male and female. All right, another one we have, looks like a black snakeskin cobra. So this one here has a snakeskin body, squiggly pattern, pure black tail. All right, and here's some females. I believe these are the females. They don't look like much in the bag. These are the females to those dragon uh, plat Dumbo mosaics. And we've got some female, looks like these are just your regular dragon tuxedos in the female variant. We've got some snakes. Um, this is your luminous tiger, sorry, luminous tiger guppy. And actually that's the female luminous tiger. Now remember as I've got them out, so we've got the male and the female luminous tiger guppies. We've got some sunsets. Now we did get some sunsets in through the week. Some really cool sunsets actually. So here's some females, but we've got some male and females already in stock. So male and female sunset guppy. This is the male here. So that yellow and orange, you can see why they call it sunset. So we did get male and female of those. The ones we've got in store already are even better than those. Really nice quality stock. All right, some more live berries, but no more guppies. This is your bumblebee platy. So people often wonder what a bumblebee platy is. There it is. You can see it's yellow and black spotty uh, bumblebee platy. So I don't normally carry these, actually, to be honest, in store, but I saw these at the wholesale, and the quality is really good, nice gold coloration in them. So I thought we'll get some more back in and see how our customers like them. So live bearer, easy for the kids to breed, uh, is the bumblebee platy. Now we've got a sword tail. So this is your um, wagtail. Now it's a sunset wagtail or, uh, yeah, it, yeah, sunset wagtail. So it has a more of a yellow and red through the body and a black tail. Now they call it the sword because it's got that long pointy sword you can see on the males there. The females don't get that, uh, but the males do. All right. Another sword here. This is just your tricolor swords. So they're a little bit like the Kahoku Koi swords, but they're not albino, and they do have black on them, the tricolor sword. Now, this one here uh, is your coral blue, but this is the coral blue calico. People do ask us when we're getting more calicos in, because uh, we can get normal coral blue platy all the time. However, we can't get the calico, and you can see the calico, see that marbling spotty pattern on them. So we'll have male and females of these come in today of the coral blue calicos. All right, now, we've got some cool Oscars in today. So today is all guppies and Oscars, but 
We've got heaps of other stuff, we're just not going to show it. All right, so let's get into some of these Oscars and have a look what we've got. Okay, so these are just your regular Red Tiger Oscar. Okay, so Red Tiger, they're black and they've got that red squiggling pattern. I'm trying to show it through the bag there, but they are double bags, so they frost up really bad to try and show you. Uh, but they're nice, healthy, got lots of red on them. So uh, cool time, really good time to buy Oscars. And you'll see why, because we're getting stunners like this in. We've got some absolute cracker lemon Oscars in. Now these are nine to 10 centimeter lemons. Look how golden yellow they are. Often the lemon Oscars come in and they're really wishy-washy white, washed out albino. This is a true lemon. Look at that, it is so, so yellow. Really good quality at the moment. We've only got a few of them in. There's about four or five of them. Not heads, but they are sensational at the moment. All right, this is just a larger size of the uh, the normal red tiger. So you can see that red pattern in there on the black body. All right, this one's a stunner. And then we did get uh, only, only a handful of these in, so not many. This is a copper leopard oscar now it's a 15 centimeters they are you can see that beautiful coppery color on it and that leopard pattern really really spotty compared to a normal oscar beautiful looking fish really hard to show you there on camera what he looks like but he is an absolute stunner and they are 15 centimeters they are ready to go in with your larger fish and we we haven't had coppers in a leopard for probably two three years so don't, if you're going to wait and see if the price comes down or if there's more going to be available, they're already cheap. The price is not coming down any further. Now, if you don't like the copper, we did get three super reds in. So this is a super red leopard. It is 10 centimeters in size. It's not as big as the coppers. They're the same price, but this is a super red. I think we've only got three of these. So if you're into getting these unique oscars don't wait they're already on the website so get in quickly for them or come on down to the store and grab yourself one all right we had the regular tiger oscars before this is your albino tiger oscar again really lovely red pattern on them really good coloration coming through on them for five centimeter fish they are glowing then we got some larger so we got your regular nine centimeters now this is a, a, a regular red Oscar in nine centimeters, and this is the albino red Oscar. Now you can see, looking at this one, it is quite red in the bag, but it's really hard to see. Really shows you how bright yellow that lemon Oscar was. Like it's sensational. You need to come down the store and have a look at it. All right, really nice, not nice nine centimeter red tiger Oscar. You know, so real good shipment of Oscars have just landed in Australia. So. Now's the time to buy Oscars, that's for sure. All right, just got a bag here of the Salvini. These are the red Salvini. They definitely do not show their color until they get a little bit bigger. These guys are coming down on price, and these are a good six to seven centimeters. So good size Salvini at the moment. All right, you want something to go with your Oscars? We have the red flag towel. Now, these are wild caught. I think we've got a half a dozen of them in. They're around seven centimeters, maybe a little bit over seven centimeters. So these are wild caught red flags. Go re really big and they go well with those Oscars. All right, another one is your fire mouth. So it's another cichlid. Uh, the fire mouth gets its name exactly because it gets its really fiery red throat and it can literally lift that gill plate out 90 degrees. Absolutely cool character fish to have a look at when it's putting on the display purpley through the body uh, really long elegant flowing fins on them all right now we've got some rams really nice chunky blue blue rams they're chunky look at them nice we got some beautiful ones of these in the shop through the week they've all sold out so keen to see how those ones are once we get them out of the bag and if you don't like the regulars you want something a little bit more placid doesn't get as big we have the balloons. Now the balloons are a little bit more touchy though. Uh, however, they're not as uh, not as big a fish, a little bit more placid. They're not both not cranky fish, they're not too bad. Now, sunshine rams have been kicking around. If last week you saw online, we've got some sunshines in. 
that were only two centimeters in size. We put them on a super clearance, and I think we sold most of them. We've probably got a couple left. But we've got some in that are a little bit bigger today, and you can see the good coloration on them. I think we're still going to sell these at the cheap price of the two centimeter ones until the two centimeter ones have gone. Uh, however, have, if you come down the store, you can pick out one of these larger ones by all means. Beautiful sunshine rams. They're one of the new rams in Australia here. Difference between these guys and the golds is the gold gets sort of a white belly. Uh, these guys get more yellow through the whole body with no red. And if you like the balloon version, the balloon versions are now also available. So again, this is the sunshine balloon, very similar to the gold balloon. Gets more yellow in the body, no red. Now there's actually long fins in here. Now we're not advertising them as long fins, but there actually is long fins in here. So if you want to come down to the store, again, you're welcome to pick out those long fins. If you're buying online, you just might get lucky and get yourself a long fin. All right. Trying to move along. We just did got a delivery outside, so I need to go deal with that. All right, just some more L numbers, L397, the most popular L number. We do sell a lot of these. Last year, they were 139 each. I think they're down to 60 bucks now, somewhere around that price. They're really cool with that orange and black stripey pattern. So we've got another 20 of those in. They do sell out really quickly. Some more of the African butterfly fish. These guys are really cool. They hang around the surface. They're opportunity eaters. They'll eat insects and anything floating on the top. They're really good at quality at the moment. So they got. I've got them in the shop here with my discus, and they really like to hang around. So they're cool. All right, what else have we got here? Some Just some little pygmy quarries. Itty bitty ones. Pygmasis quarries. They're only about one centimeter in size. Sometimes they come in 1.2, 1.5. These are only smaller. They're about one centimeter. Good little nano fish, good for those nano aquariums. Some more quarries, the orange Venezuelan. We got some last week. They're really, really good quality. So we've got some more from the same supplier. Uh, look very similar to a bronze, but they get a little bit of an orange blotcher to them. We've got some brooch, the uh, emerald quarry or the green quarry. So this is the greenest of all the quarries for you. And I've got them in a home in my discus tank, and they're really metallic green. They're, they're, they're larger quarry, too. They get quite big. So we've got some of those in. Just your jewelry or your leopard quarry. It's one of the more common ones that we carry. We carry those all the time. We just thought we'd show them to you. We've got jewelry. We've got a lot of quarries. We've got jewelry. We've got stirbys. We've got pandas. Now, these are cool. So we'll cut to those more quarries here. So there's black or Venezuelan quarry. So these ones go like just pure black. So if you like black, these are your pure black quarries. All right, the banded quarry or the Barbados. So it's a longer, skinnier quarry. Doesn't get that big. It's definitely much longer, elongated body, pointier nose. Yeah, uh, it's a cool fish. They're a good size too. For all right, we've got enough fish here, and the fish are climbing up the bags, so we'll have a look at them in a minute. Okay, now we've got some more upside-down cats, but they're really cool. They're really big. Now, these guys, see that one there? See it swimming upside down? Now, the one in the corner, that one there, swimming on upside down? They call them upside-down cats. That's literally what they do. They swim around the aquarium upside down. Now, when it comes feeding time, drop those pellets in, they fall to the bottom. Over he turns and he'll be swimming around the right way and he gobbles up those as soon as he's finished eating. There he is, swimming upside down. As soon as he's finished, he's upside down again. Now we've got one really big one in. Look at this fella. He's a stunner. Nice, big size, upside down. I think I'll put this one in my display tank at the front so we can show our customers that one. All right. Got some nice size blue killies in. Nice. Now, I don't like that they come packed like this because they absolutely rip each other apart in the bag. All their fins are damaged. They will grow back, but they don't travel well packing them all together like that. They absolutely tear each other apart, but they look absolutely stunning with their colour currently. All right. Looks like we've got a bag here with some fighters. Just going to pull them out and see what we've got. Oh, beautiful yellow one. Look at that. Absolutely stunning placat. Got yellow, uh, got little red candy koi by the looks of it. Blue rim male. 
Now, we did get a big ship and a better through the week, because, by the way, so we didn't showcase those on camera, but we got in our shipment of betters. Mainly males this time, not many females, but we've got lots of males in. Just another nice, beautiful placat, sort of blue with the red fins. Another yellow one. This one's really marbly. It's, it's, it's not a galaxy. It's got no pearl scale, but it's just a really nice yellow marbled placat male. And, and another sort of candy koi uh, male there as well. So nice little uh, placats. Now, something cool. These guys sell out really quickly. I've only got three, and that's your mud skippers. Now, they were just all stuck on the glass there before I picked the bag up. They are hiding down here. They have see how they ship it here with this little island? Because they literally, they'll sit on that during transit. They've got to get up out of the water. So these are your little mud skippers. Oh, one just went to jump out then, but I'm trying to show you. There he is. Oh, there he is up on the wall. They do like salt water, these guys, so you do need to have some brackish water conditions for them. I love them. You set up a little rocky beach, some plant, like I use a plastic plant in mine. Get some water flowing down on the sand. You put some dried flake up on the rock, and these guys get up and chow down it like a bulldog. Really cool. I love hand feeding them. I love how they interact. They are very, very delicate and touchy, though. I will tell you that, but they are worth it. All right, guys, that's it for today with our live fish unboxing. And uh, like I said, there will not be a live fish unboxing next Friday because it's a public holiday. We are going to open on Saturday, reduced hours. So Saturday, this is Easter Saturday, we're going to open from 10 to 3 for a five-hour stint. And we are going to have some ripper in-store only specials. So for those who are local, come on down to Aquarium Central if you've got nothing to do on that Saturday. By all means, if you've got time to spend with family, spend it with your family. But if you've got nothing to do, come on down to Aquarium Central and grab yourself some of those bargains. I'll give you a hint. We've got some Tetras going out for $1, all right? So stay tuned. Facebook throughout the week, and you'll see what those specials are. Thanks for watching today, guys. Come visit us, 11 Pike Street, Cunder Park. See you next time.